I'm going to France by the way. And maybe, maybe, maybe I don't really miss you. Never mind. I just see the silence late at night. I think I need someone to hold me. Hey guys, this is actually really scary. I have not vlogged in public in so long, like with my actual camera. I don't know. I think it's more scary because I'm in a different country so like me speaking in English identifies me as a tourist and then also like the camera and yeah. But today we're going to go on a little adventure. Sorry, I cannot say if I'm actually in frame because of the sun. Um, but today we're going on a little adventure. We're going to go up the Bastille again and I'm going right now. I'm in Grenoble. I'm going to get uh, some lunch. So yeah. French people are so judgmental. Oh my god, this is really like I have never felt this judged vloggy. Okay, but it's just a mindset really, like it doesn't even matter. So I really just they really judge me. I don't know. No, they just seem more judgmental. Um but I basically I have one month left. Oh this is so cute. If I hadn't already decided, I'm gonna take a photo of this place. I have one month left here. Um, oh my god, and jazz. Um, yes, I, sorry. I have one month left. Today's the 17th, so in exactly a month I will be back home in Australia. Oh my god, it's a creeper. That's so cute. Um, okay, wait, but I'm about to walk past literally my favorite chai, favorite chai latte place I've ever gotten right there. Um, it's Zait, Zait, Z-E-I-T, and it was the best chai latte that I've had the whole time I've been here. It was amazing, and they had such cute little cakes and stuff as well. I just got a Madeleine, but, uh, there were so many cute little cakes. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Okay, so, but... Uh, Basically two days ago was a month since I would leave because I lose a day going back home So I leave here on the 15th at like 10 30 at night and then I arrive in Australia on the 17th at 5 55 a.m <laughs> But anyway, I'm kind of sad like I kind of don't want to leave but this is where I'm going for lunch this place Teresia there. I don't know if you can this is really awkward. There's people out there. I think I'm gonna get a milkshake. I got one the other day and it was amazing. And I'm kind of like on a milkshake. Otherwise, I'd get a chai, but it's kind of like not cold. <laughs> I've already had an iced chai from here, so I think I'm gonna get a vanilla milkshake. I got a milkshake. I switched to my phone because I just cannot deal with this. It's really scary. <laughs> oh, lunch. I legit just drink a milkshake. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna head up to the Bastille and I think I'm just going uh, to ride the ball things up. I don't really feel like walking up the And I like walk around up the top. I just like, it's also a bit windy so. But it's really weird weather. Like it's hot but this breeze is kind of cold and I feel like I need to put my jacket on but then like I also don't, like when I put it on I kind of feel a bit too hot. But yeah, hopefully I can get something to eat up there otherwise. When I come back down, I'll just go to somewhere where I know definitely has food and I'll get something little there. I just saw some Australians. I just like to say that we are literally like the most easiest people to spot out because the Catman do jackets. Like I can spot an Australian or New Zealand person as long as they're wearing Catman do jacket, like we just stand out so much and I can spot it so easily too like I didn't even see the logo on those girls that just walked past and I was like nah that's a, that's a Catman do jacket and it was once I actually saw the logo on the back but yeah it's really windy today it's really annoying um, but I'm in the line to get my ticket and I'm just gonna go up and down on the ball things Yes, I don't really, it's only like 3 o'clock and I can't really be blood to that sounds really horrible but like I like the view and I want to see it up and down because I've seen, oops, because last time I walked down so I didn't get to see it like on the way down which I feel like is different, I don't know, it's probably the same thing. Um, I don't know why my voice sounds like that. 
Uh, but yeah, I actually don't know if you can hear me. It's so windy. The near shop up there is closed again. It's always closed. Like I don't even know when it's open. So I might just wander around. There's a museum that I'm gonna pop into. Have a look up in that. And yeah. Otherwise, I'll just come down to that cliff thing and get myself a crepe for lunch and then I'll head home. Yeah. Also, do you like my outfit today? I kind of don't. I don't know. I just wasn't feeling the outfit vibes today. Like, it really took me a really long time to pick what I wanted to wear. I'm wearing my brand new This is so cute. I'm wearing my brand new shirt and then this. I'm wearing Brandy Melville, basically. Um, but yeah. And yeah. You know what else makes me feel stupid? When they laugh at my French. I tried, but I just didn't know what I was saying. I was, it was going so good until he asked me if I had a student, like a, a school ID. And I didn't, like, I, I thought he was saying, like, a, a student ticket. So I just said, wee oui, wee. Oui. And then he laughed at me, and he was like, do you have a student card? And I was like, no, no, no. But yeah, I got my ticket. Gonna go off the back. I think. I really hope so. I, I mean, it was the more expensive one, so I'm guessing that's off the back. Um, but yeah. Hashtag excited. I'm gonna go to the museum. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited. Oh god, I'm such an old professor. I don't know what is happening happened to my uh, my vlogging confidence, guys. It has gone down the drain. There is none left. Oh, it's so pretty. That road there. That is actually the longest street. I think like uh, in France or in Europe, I'm not sure, um, but it would have been longer than the Champs-Élysées, which is the longest, but like to keep it from being the longest, they split it up, so it's like a few different streets so that the Champs-Élysées could stay the longest. They didn't want Grenoble to have that title. <laughs> it's so pretty, I, you literally could just sit here for like hours. And just watch. I'd love to watch the sunset or the sunrise. Wait, the sunset's that way. So the sunset would be better. Wait. Yeah, the sunset would be better. Oh, well, like, either way, I guess. I suppose, like, you've kind of got an all around. So. so I took off my jumper because it was kind of hot. Um, and now I'm just wearing this long sleeve. But it feels really weird because I have not worn just like a long sleeve without a jumper or something for so long. And it's actually like still kind of hot, even with my Kathmandu on. And like I would have just had the jumper, but I like that my, my papa has pockets. So. I'm going to um, the museum now. I wonder if it costs anything. I hope not. No, it will. But anyway, I'm going to the museum. Toodaloo. It's really cool. Um, you basically get a little iPhone and you press the number for each room. So you have to wait until the next person moves on, which is what I'm doing. Um, so you press the button of the room that you're in and it speaks it to you. It's really cool. Except number five doesn't work. Um, so you have to read it, which is why I finished so quick. Um, but some of the the mannequins are very creepy. It's very interesting. Um, it's basically talking about the history of the Alps and like the battle for the land and stuff in the Alps. Um, but yeah. That is an altitude of 850 meters. Wondering what will happen. Guys, that was actually really interesting. 
interesting. I quite enjoyed it. Um, I couldn't read the thing. I couldn't be bothered to read the. There was like most of it was through the phone thing that I showed you. Um, but there were little. There were a few rooms where I had a lot of writing. But it was all in French. I'm sorry. It was really windy. But it was all in French. And it was too much for me to read. So what I could understand. Uh, what I heard was very interesting. I don't know about all the writing. It's not what I was expecting, but it was. It was. Like I did not know any of that stuff, so <laughs> the more you know. I'm just gonna walk around, have a quick squiz, um, and yeah. Okay, so that is the mountain there. I'm pretty sure that's the Chamos, which is where I went skiing and everything there. And I don't know what the other ones are, unfortunately. But I know that there's a one I can't remember the other one name at the top. It's not like I walked up here or anything. <laughs> yeah, it's like four. Um, uh, so I'm gonna head down. I'm actually not very hungry, but I think I know I should eat because I will get hungry. Um, so I'm going to find something to eat down there, and then I'll head back. Home. I got myself one of these clean things and it's like, oh wait, I will try to do it so that you can see there. And then on the back it's got the globes. I'm really scared to drop it. There. Oh, whoops, that's upside down, but it's the bowl thing. Um, and it's so cool because I wasn't going to get one, but then I just kept looking at it. I was like, no, I just, I gotta get one. I was only a euro, so two euros. Okay, I kind of got ripped off, but anyways. Guys, <laughs> this is the weirdest encounter I've ever had in my life. I was just in the whole thing, and there wasn't many of us, so I was like, oh, cool, I'll get one to myself. No, this guy came and sat in with me, and then he was just like chatting to me in French. And I actually understood quite a lot, of, which was kind of good, like, I was kind of proud of myself. Um, it, was, it was just a weird encounter. Um, he didn't understand. I was trying to tell him I'm from Australia and he didn't understand. He couldn't understand me. So I had to Google Australia and show him and he goes, Ah, oh, Australia. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. That's it. It was really weird. And he's very, he's walking in front of me. Wait, okay. TV, I'm taking a video, but it's the guy in the white jeans. Like, I'm kind of mad that I didn't get a whole thing to myself. I was really excited too. I was like, yes, there's like three people here. But he just hopped in with me. I was, what the heck? I'm gonna go find myself some food because I'm actually hungry. Oh, that way. Okay, should I go to the one that I saw on the way there? Yeah. A bit of walking will do me good. <laughs> no, and there is one right there, but it doesn't look as nice. I don't know, the other one looked cool though. And I, you know I love to go to cool places. Like, if, if, the, <laughs> if it's just like basic, if it's bowling club style, like I don't want it. I need it to be aesthetic. <laughs> I won't eat there unless it looks good. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a bit, probably when I'm eating a crepe. <laughs> I've gained back my confidence. I don't know what happened, but like legit like not vlogging. I haven't vlogged for like a whole month. It was kind of like relaxing, except for the fact that I, no it wasn't. It was like every now and then I'd be like, oh I should vlog, but I just like don't. I don't know. It's not like I do a lot. Like it's kind of like I do the same thing a lot. My camera's gonna die, um, so I might as well switch over to my phone. Um, but it's like I do the same thing, like I come into Grenoble a lot, but I just like walk around, like I don't do anything really, so it's like there's nothing much for me to vlog. I like, I make a lot of TikToks and stuff because I don't have to do anything, like, with the, no, I just like film with a TikTok, I don't have to entertain. Well, anyway, okay, this is kind of cute, I'm gonna take a photo. Okay guys, I went to a different place because this place was like alive and thriving and I knew the other place would have been alive and thriving as well because it's France, not Sydney. Um, but I was just worried that I wouldn't like that I wouldn't like anything there or something like that. And I saw this and so I was like, hey, I'm going to the lighting. Um, and it is so cute. I literally bought too much food that anyway. That's okay, I'm gonna take the brownie home. Um, if I don't finish it. But, oh, can I tell you in French? This is kind of embarrassing. What if I get it wrong? That's okay. It's okay. Okay, please don't judge and please don't yell at me um, if I get this wrong. Je prends un chalaté. Sucre. 
Spring is the season that wakes me alive, and fall is the season to contemplate life. Oh, guys, I could just do this. I don't know what is it. Guys, I could just do I didn't steal it. I got it with my drink. <laughs> and I took it so that I get here. <laughs> my mom's watching this going, oh my god. The thing we used to tell her not to do all the time, she's doing it. Yes, I am. Guys, my, my camera is officially dead, so it's on the phone. But what was I saying? Oh, okay, I'm getting a few real rating of my food that I just ate. The crepe was good, could have done with more sugar. I don't know. I felt like there was only a bit of it that actually had sugar on it. It may have had sugar, but it just melted in and I couldn't taste it, but then that means that there wasn't enough. So, um, <laughs> the brownie was great. I didn't finish it, I have it in my bag to eat. Um, the chai latte was horrible. I've never had it, it was, it was more of a chai tea than a chai latte, like, it was kind of just like hot water. Which, like, I don't like, I don't like tea, so that's why I have a chai latte, not chai tea. But yes, yeah, so now I'm going to go and catch the tram back home. Do you think I can cross? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to catch the tram back home, and then I have to catch the tram, then the bus, but anyways. And then I'll be home. So this is probably the last time you see me. Um, I kind of forgot how much fun vlogging is. Like, I have, I literally haven't done it since the school holidays so it's been like a month no maybe yeah three weeks probably um but i'm gonna try and vlog more i don't know about vlogging like at school and stuff it's kind of really scary <laughs> no like we're not even allowed our phones out i didn't know this and then the teacher came up to me and was like i don't know he said it in french and i was so confused he told me to put my phone away in the hallway but that was the first time i've been there for like two months so like i don't get what his problem was um <laughs> Anyways, uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it actually turned out to be like a, a vlog length because the last one that I did did not. Um, so hopefully this is a bit longer and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, like, comment and subscribe to see more videos of me in France. Um, I will probably be home by the time that this is posted. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Toodles. Bye.